To help you learn how to use WordSearch 10, this video will point out the basic parts of the program, some of the major buttons, a few icons, and provide a very brief description of what they are and what they do. When you start WordSearch 10 for the first time, the first screen you'll see is called the Easy Start screen. From this screen, you can easily start different parts of the program. For example, if you click on this button here, it will take you into the library where you can read your books and prepare your sermons or write up your lesson. This button will take you to our videos that teach you how to use the program. Clicking on this button will open your devotional. And if you want to add a new book to your library, you would simply click on this button here. And you will be taken to our website so that you can buy that new book. On the right half of the Easy Start screen is our news window. It displays news and information about our current specials and offerings. And finally, in the upper right corner is the sign in area where you sign in with your email address and your personal password to your word search account. Signing in does many things for you. But most importantly, signing in allows you to unlock and download the inventory of books that are in your account. If you are a brand new word search user and you do not have an account with us, click here to register for a word search ID, then fill out the registration form. You can also call us at this number and a word search representative will be glad to help you and your program get registered. To show you the rest of word search 10, I'll click on start word search Bible. When you click on Start Word Search Bible, you are taken to the main window, or as many people refer to it, the library, or the desktop. They call this area the desktop because this big gray area in the middle is known as the desktop. This is what the desktop looks like when you do not have any books open. The bar on the left is called the resources bar. When you click on this bar, it opens up to show you the resources window. I'm going to pin down the resources window to keep it open. There. Inside the resources window is where you will find the books that you own after you have purchased them and unlocked them and downloaded them. They will be found here in the library section. When you create a sermon or a lesson, they will be stored here in the Documents section. To open a book, look in the Library section. Expand one of the Category folders, then scroll up or down until you find your book, then click on it. The window at the far right is called the info window. It contains a Bible that synchronizes with the Bible references in your books. When you click on a Bible reference in an open book, or when you mouse over a Bible reference in an open book, the Bible in the info window opens to that same book chapter and verse as the reference that you clicked on. You can hide the info window by clicking on this icon here. To show the info window again, just click on that same button. The big toolbar at the top is called the main toolbar. Some people call it the top toolbar because it is at the top of the program. It contains icons that open the most commonly used features in our program. Here is the icon to open the search feature. 
The bar above that with the words File, Edit, View, this bar is called the Main Menu. When you unlock the books you own, you have to click on Help right here and then click on Unlock Purchased Books. The bar above that is called the Program Title Bar. It tells you what program you are running, what version it is, and what desktop you have open. The program I am running is called Word Search 10, and I have it open to a desktop called Test Desktop that I created specifically for this video. And the last part of our program that I want to show you is this uh, Sign In area. In the upper right corner, you will see the words Sign In and Register. To get the books that are in your account, you have to sign in. If you are already signed in, you will already see your email address here. If you do not see your email address here, click on Sign In and enter your email address and your personal password that you use to access your Word Search account. If you are new to Word Search, a brand new Word Search customer, you will click on Register, then fill out our registration form to become a registered Word Search customer. For more details on the anatomy of Word Search, be on the lookout for our next video called The Anatomy of Word Search Part 2.